What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing if Ghost of Tsushima will release in August 2020. Now, this is kind of a follow-up to my release date predictions a few days ago. I talked about well, when Ghost of Tsushima is going to come out, and obviously, we know kind of now, right, from the Game Awards that Ghost of Tsushima will release in the summer of 2020. Pretty awesome. I was I, I did actually think we were going to get the official release date. Um, and this is, it, it's it's not surprising, but at the same time, it kind of is, right? Because I was, even in that video, I was kind of saying, well, it's got to be after The Last of Us. It can't be before it just because of the order of which these games actually get formally announced and, and finished, basically. So it can't be before the end of May. You look at June, you say, well, there's a work in June. And, and that's ultimately, so now let's talk about this. The summer. Summer is June, July, August. That's the summer. September goes into the fall. So when you look at it that way, and I, I actually, I, I hope I've responded to your comments by now, the people that commented in the original video. Some people called it, and some people got very, very close. I know some people said late June, early July. I know uh, Grimes on the radio. I know him by name just because he's been around so long. Hello. Uh, he said, I believe, August 21st, 20, uh, 2020. So, like, I feel, here's what I'll say, is I agree with him. I think late August is the time. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you why. June is E3, the beginning, or at least the, kind of the middle-ish, right? Probably, like, uh, I don't even know the actual dates, but it's normally around, like, June 7th, 8th, somewhere in that range to, like, June 12th, 13th. So that's around middle of June. End of June, I'm not discounting the end of June. The only thing stopping me from saying I believe that more because, because here's the deal. I just believe late August more than late June. That's all it is. I think late June is a possibility. The only reason I would say no is just because it does come right after E3. The talk is going to be on next generation consoles. The Last of Us is still under a month old at this point. They're expecting it, I assume. I, I think we know this to be a very high selling game, right? The Last of Us, uh, the first game, sold insanely, insanely well. One of the best uh, exclusive games sold on the PS3. Uh, so, and even The Last of Us Remastered has sold incredibly. And even if you combine them, even better. So, what basically what I'm saying is The Last of Us Part 2, I really feel like is going to sell 15 to 20 million units. I really do believe it can do that big, which is like one-fifth of the PS4 uh, base, which is out like games don't do that, especially exclusives. They don't do that. Basically, my point is I feel like we're still going to be on like The Last of Us binge, right? Every like It's going to be a long game, too. Don't forget that. It's going to be like 25, 30 hours. That's long. People are still going to be playing it into June, and I'll keep going back to what I say about Ghost of Tsushima. It's an important game. I'm worried about it in some ways, but I'm very confident. Like I, I'm confident in the way that I'm getting this day one. I want to believe it's going to be a really good game. I'm going to give it all of the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to be playing it. I hope to love it. Okay, so I'm going to give it every single chance humanly imaginable. At the same time, there can be missteps, and it's, it's imperative that Sucker Punch nails it. Right, they've had some problems with Infamous. They've gone through some problems over the past half decade. They need to rebound. And so, having your game come out if it's late June, it's still like a month after The Last of Us. People are still going to be playing. People are still going to be buying The Last of Us Part Two. Do you really want your second big? Ex now, there's a lot. Sony actually has a lot going on in even the first half. Or uh, let's extend it. Let's go through the summer of 2020. Neo 2 is a console exclusive for PS4. Right? It's also on PC. Uh, you have uh, Final Fantasy 7. So there, you have Dreams. There's a lot. And you obviously, Last of Us Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Pre uh, Predator, The Hunting Grounds is PC and play. So they actually have, and I'm sure I'm missing a few as well, they actually have quite a, a big amount of games coming out. But when you think of what's the biggest, well, Dreams maybe at some point could be considered. I don't think it is now. When you look at, I mean, obviously, The Last of Us part two is on a whole different level than honestly any of those other games and maybe even besides cyberpunk the, you know every game that comes out in the first eight nine months of the year but then you look at you know what's the next game in terms of exclusives it's ghost of tsushima you need that game to sell you need that game to be good you need that game to kind of rebound sucker punch now i don't think they'll close if it's a disappointment but that would be two bad games in a row. I actually liked First Light, the DLC for Second Son. I actually loved it, but Second Son itself, I'd say, was pr was pretty below average. I really, I wanted to like that game. Even now, I want to like it. I just truly can't. I really can't. So, I really, and I think a lot of people feel the same way. So, they need a rebound. So, when it comes to late June, I, I really have a tough time saying that I think it's going to be in late June just because of the proximity to Last of Us. I don't think it's impossible. I just think 
it's not the safest for Ghost of Tsushima. Next up would obviously be July, which is uh, kind of, and the reason I would say not July is, you know, it's got this kind of idea uh, to it that games just don't release it. Now, I've talked about it numerous times before. Uh, July, Nintendo, this past July, Nintendo proved that that's not true. You can release games and be good. They released Fire Emblem, which took home so many uh, game awards, not just at the Game Awards show, but even from uh, publications from different websites as well. I mean, people love, I really want to love, I don't, I don't own it, but I definitely want it, Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal game. That released then, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. You don't hear too much about that but that game sold reasonably well even dragon quest builders 2 came out then so like they're kind of games for a different kind of audience although fire emblem really expanded to the west a lot of people here really love it i would say it's not just for a specific group of people that's a bigger than that kind of game but they're not the biggest games in the world now yeah you could debate is fire emblem as big as ghost of Tsushima, or is ghost of tsushima as big as fire emblem because if they're around the same then i mean you could argue that ghosts would work um in july as well i just think when it comes to august it is that kind of rebound month when you think of august even every year really every year you don't necessarily get the greatest games in august but it's definitely a rebound of games in general control came out this year which so many people loved again that got so many awards um even even Man of Meaden came out that month. Madden's normally come out in, in August. So August is that bounce back. Like June, it'll have its games. There's E3. Then there's, and then, you know, towards the end of June, there are some games. And then July is really a quiet period. And then August, especially the second half of August, really starts to be like, hey, like we're back in the gaming season. Let's get you ready for September and, and the fall in general. Now, again, this year has the next generation consoles, which you have to be wary about. And that's why I think Ghost of Tsushima really does fit in in late August the best. I really do feel it's a it's a prime spot for games in general. Again, again, games like to release at the end of August. It doesn't always work out. You even uh, you look back ten years ago to Arkham Asylum. I know weird example, but that game came out late August. So late August does work. Late August, you can sell your games. You can get out ahead of the September games, which I don't necessarily think they need to as much this year because I don't know how packed September is kind of hit or miss sometimes September's can be big there's been destinies that released in September this year we had Borderlands and Gears so I mean there have been in recent memory some really big September's but okay say even there is that well you want to get out ahead of that you don't want to be super close you don't also want to be in that category so again late August makes sense and also if you look at that maybe September this year won't be all that packed because hey a month and a half later it's next gen time and every Everybody's focused on that. You're going to lose a lot of people. If your game comes out in September, I'm eager to see what happens to that game in terms of sales, in terms of our people even caring about it, because it's it's, it's just going to be different. I mean, gener like we don't switch generations of consoles all that often. It's, it takes a long time, and so it's a big deal, right? I, I'm not saying anything you guys don't already know, um, but I think that is going to affect September games. And again, Ghost of Tsushima, why do I keep saying this? I'm only mentioning September because I feel like that is what slots it into August. We know it's summer 2020, which again puts it out of that September range in general. So that I think that's my argument. I don't think late June only because of The Last of Us. Games do release in late June. Crash Team Racing released last year. Super Mario Maker 2 released on June 28th, my birthday. Uh, Arkham Knight. I, I keep going back to Batman games. Um, but, like, you know, late June, around my birthday time, I love games that come out around that time. But, like, late June is a good time. It's just for a Sony exclusive to then compete basically with another Sony exclusive a month ago. I don't know if that's the best plan. July, you know, Nintendo is really the only one that like throws its hat in, you know, in the ring and says, okay, we're going to try to release some games in July. They've proven that you can sell, but Sony has never really shown an ability or like a desire, not even an ability, and a desire. They've never shown a desire to release games in July. Maybe there's some examples. If you guys have any, you can definitely let me know. But in recent memory, there hasn't been, right? So, and that is telling. You have to look at history of publishers, of companies in general to see these things. That's basically what I go off of. So I think July is totally out. I would say either late June or late August. And again, I just say late August seems like 
uh, a one that makes the most sense to me. But I could, again, be wrong. I have been. I think I was right. I don't remember exactly what I said in that release date predictions, but I believe I did say sometime around then, maybe even September. So I think so far I've been pretty close, and I definitely want to hit it here. So I'm going to go on. I don't know August 21st. I don't want to 100% agree with Grimes on the radio, but I think late August, uh, I do believe that is my. that's going to be my prediction of when we will get Ghost of Tsushima. Either way, I'm super, super pumped. We'll be, uh, you know, increasing our coverage of that game as we start seeing more on that game. We'll be covering it more, and then leading into it, we'll have tons of videos. Once the game comes out, obviously we'll have tons of videos there as well, okay? So I'm very, very excited for this game. Uh, hopefully you guys are too, and if you are, again, we're going to be covering it, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that bell icon is rung because there's going to be a lot of videos about this game as the months uh, progress, okay? So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video. Hey guys, firstly, thank you so much for getting to this far, this at the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. I do want to quickly remind you guys, we are doing a community event on December 21st. It is the Saturday. It's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you guys want to play with us, we have the video up on the channel. Make sure you guys go watch that video and leave in the comments that you want to play with us. It's also a live stream event, so you guys just want to kind of swing by, watch us play the game, have some fun right before Christmas. It's going to be an absolute blast, and I hope to see you guys there.